Memorial services for Robert DMX are still being planned. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano says the family is welcome to have services at Yonkers Raceway. The outdoor venue could accommodate more than a thousand people with COVID restrictions. There's even talk of a statue and a street named after the Yonkers native. DMX leaves behind a profound legacy and here to tell us more about it is founder and CEO of allhiphop.com, Chuck Creekmer. Chuck, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So for a lot of people who uh, knew DMX as the as the artist, the rapper and the personality, uh, we saw him really representative of the full human experience, right? We saw redemption in his story. We saw his ability to fall so many times, but still get up. So as we kind of reflect on his life, we know a lot of people may only be aware of the controversial side of DMX. But can you talk to us about the more intimate side of DMX? Yeah, to know him was to love him. If you spent any time with DMX, uh, you instantly fell in love with him. I mean, for the most part, um, I had great experiences with him. Uh, always unique and always varied, but always uh, uh, an interesting experience. And that's why so many people are heartbroken right now, because DMX was a true man of the people. And uh, so many people had this um, experience with him. You know, everyone has a DMX story. That's what we're all telling each other. And we're all sharing these stories. And, and all of them are positive, even though uh, it might be a stark contrast with what the headlines reflected. Oh, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, DMX released his first album when he was, what, only 28 years old. Um, I want to yes. listen to Russell Simmons because he had something to say about this. Take a look. Get At Me Dog was going against the grain and reminded me of what we loved at Def Jam. So I was so excited. I remember going to the tunnel when he first performed it and watching him perform it like, wow, Def Jam is back. Sure enough, he saved Def Jam. And it was a moment for us and lots of other things happened around that time and Def Jam exploded. But he pulled us out of the mud and brought us back to life. I mean, that's quite the statement. He mm -hmm. saved yeah. Je Def Jam. DMX released another album later that year, which really speaks to his work ethic. Not only is it in music, but also in movies. Did he always have that drive? Yeah, he did. You know, Russell mentioned coming from the mud, and that's exactly where DMX came from. But I just want to be clear. You know, he didn't just save Def Jam. To a lot of us, he saved hip hop. To a lot of us, you know, like myself, coming up as a young, scrappy journalist and business person, you know, he really slit a, a battery in the back of uh, the entire culture. So my company was started in the same year that DMX dropped these back-to-back -back classic, multi-platinum, chart-topping albums. And in a lot of ways, he helped me get on my feet and start my career. So. He, he really resuscitated the whole industry in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like there, within every decade since he came on the scene, he was always present, always relevant, always a distinct voice, um, yeah. an amazing lyrical talent, lyrical artist. Uh, when we reflect on DMX, we obviously know his impacts in culture. When we think about his impacts today, he was just yeah on a versus battle, right? Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us about mm -hmm. that appearance, uh, what he was like, and whether that was mm -hmm. the most recent since his passing? Yeah, the versus battle with Snoop Dogg was epic. I mean, it was something, you know, you know, imagine hundreds of thousands of people gathering around a device, a phone, a computer, or something else, and all staring at two guys, dogs from one coast to another, and just having fun and celebrating. I mean, we call it a versus battle, but really it's a celebration of the mm -hmm. culture, of our genius. Um, and it's also a celebration of overcoming the odds. You know, when I tweeted about it, I said, you know, this isn't a battle. This is a celebration mm -hmm. of two guys that weren't supposed to be here. They weren't supposed to make it out of their circumstances. And, you know, DMX is a true testament to the, um, the instinct to survive and also to do good and to thrive and to really um, give back. 
I think that's really important because a, a lot of times we talk about their music and their lyrics and, and how they've, you know, come yeah. up. But he did more than just that. He also, like you say, gave back. And, and that's why we're seeing yeah. so many tributes pouring in since DMX's death mm -hmm. on Friday, including this heartfelt post from his ex-wife. Let's take a listen. Yeah. It says, I am so grateful to God and honored from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity while on this journey called life to join hands in marriage with a true disciple and angel of God to do life when he did. Um, have you been in touch with any of his loved ones since his passing? How are they doing? Do you any, have any information on a memorial service? Because I know he had um, um, his right. ex-wives. He, he also has children as well. Mm -hmm. um, I've been... I'm close to a number of family uh, adjacent people. And so it's it's heartbreaking on so many different levels. Um, you know, I lost my father at a young age and I see a lot of what I went through and what they went through. And, and it's an unfortunate thing because you see this uh, tremendously strong individual, this, this powerful figure, and you don't think he's going to die you, mm. none of us did you know and and even though we needed a miracle we we thought we were going to get that miracle so um at the moment there is no memorial announced but uh they're gonna they're already memorials all over the world right yeah. now and vigils and celebrations so my heart goes out to uh his wife ex-wife his family his fiance uh his crew everyone because uh, we deeply loved this guy. He was a part of our hip hop family and our, um, you know, blood family as well. Mm -hmm. And truly gone too soon. He was only 50 years old. Mm -hmm. Chuck, thank you so much it's, for your time and your insight and, and your memories. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.